Good afternoon, folks. We are back again here at Zurich Utegrund for this wonderful Swiss Rugby Day for the next game today, opposing Switzerland and Ukraine. As they prepare for the national anthems, We will also remind you that we will have the refs on microphone today, so we will be listening. And here we are, Ukraine visiting team. Number one, Vitali Kramarenko. Number two, Dimitri Kajevic. Number three, Ilya Voda. Number four, Alexander Shevchenko. Number five, Yaroslav Kumbhorsky. Number six, Maxim Dulia. Number seven, David Vivarchik. Number eight, Vitali Orlov, the captain. Number nine, Andrei Bilusov. Number 10, Vladislav Adazinik, number 11, Denis Sakhilivny, number 12, Denis Primshemnovsky, excuse my terminology, number 13, Mikolav Karasevich, number 14, Dimitro Produs, number 15, Vadim Sivak. The bench today, number 16, Volodymyr Federets, number 17, Oleg Vazierenchenko, number 18, Ivan Surkov, number 19, Alexander Varok, number 20, Bodan Kaczurowski, number 21, Dimitri Mulyaravchevich, number 22, Herhi Lievov, number 23, Narek Manukyayan. The coaching staff, Alexander Primashenko, assistant coach Dimitri Basilea, and the team manager, Irhor Tsuzhevich. My apologies to all the Ukrainians out there. My pronunciation is not the best. Now to the Swiss side. Cameron Hollenstein, number one. Number two, Manuel Ronza. Number three, Ruben Bachhofner. Number four, Antoine Cramont. Number five, Ahmed Kane. Number six, Thomas Konya. Number seven, Nicola Mustis. Number eight, Cyrilin, the captain. Number nine, William Mayer. Number 10, Jules Porcher. Number 11, Cyril Flückiger. Number 12, Lucas Heinrich. Number 13, Jamba Bull. Number 14, Hugo Malion. Number 15, Jolan Vincent. Number 16, Maximiliano Ducomin. Number 17, Samuel Schoberg. Number 18, George Hallam. Number 19, Jonathan Dalle. Number 20, Francois Bianco. Number 21, Donovan O'Grady. And number 22, Hugh Kiselowski. Number 23, Lee Alexandre Chavanon. And the coaching staff today, unchanged. Head coach Olivier Nier, Mathieu Gouillot-Kreis, Simon Dupuis, and the team manager Jan Benoit. Our referee today, the trio is from Spain, their commissioner also from Spain, Inaki, Munoz, Marti, Juge de Touche, uh, touch judge Javier Gonzalez, and the other judge, touch Julio Gonzalez, and the commissioner is Eliseo Patron Costas. A Spanish team for us. We have been assured that the referee's microphone will be in English, so you can listen in on some of the decisions being made on the pitch. Game to start in approximately five or six minutes. Here we go, we have the overview of the table. Switzerland uh, with four games and four wins at 17. Sweden who has finished their campaign with four wins and a loss to Switzerland in the lead. So this game very important for Switzerland to win the grand slam of this group. A win today would put Switzerland in first place and the qualification is all but guaranteed for the next level of the Rugby Europe Trophy in 2024-25 season. Important game for Switzerland. Ukraine, on the other hand, has a difficult time with their situation at home. Very difficult for them to play home games. They have been exiled pretty much all over Europe. Um, so a difficult uh, day for them but certainly a proud day to be a Ukrainian, to be able to feel the team and participate in this championship is a, certainly a very, very positive sign to the population and to all of us here at the stadium. And 
we give them the utmost respect for participating today. Today's anthems will be performed by a live band. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are now at the national anthems, and we'll, we'll return to the to this game shortly after. Wonderful rendition of both the anthems here, Ukraine and Switzerland. We're about two minutes before kickoff right now. The coin toss has taken place. 
We are all looking forward to this wonderful performance here today, the wonderful game between these two lovely countries. Lots of respect to both teams from the supporters today. Ukrainian flags in the stands, Swiss flags. The fourth referee is assured by the Swiss Swiss referee Paul Timmins and Ethan Glass sitting on the sidelines taking care of all the bench and making sure that all the changes taking place today are in accordance with Rugby Europe regulations. And we are about to kick off here in Zurich, Switzerland, kicking off and going from right to left. Ukraine wearing the blue jerseys, of course, heading from the left side of the pitch to the right side. So we will now switch on the microphones for the referee so you can part listen in on some of the discussions going on. And this game is underway, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go here in Zurich for this crucial game for Switzerland. The final game of this European Championship that Switzerland participated, this uh, European trophy. Switzerland beating on the 23rd of this extra play. A good kick on the inside. Oh, what a lovely tap and go. And it's going to be the first try. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a quick start from the Swiss team. Switzerland 5, Ukraine 0. Very good play on the side. That was a quick score for Switzerland. What a way to start the game. Quick penalty advantage, kick to the corner, reception from the winger with an inside tap to the supporting player. You can't get better than that. Difficult kick for the number 10. And number 10, and it didn't pass. That was a very hard kick. So the actual, the current score, 5-0 for Switzerland. A great start to this game. Ukraine kicking off. to restart this game. Good take on the far right by the Ukraine sending the ball all the way to the right, trying to get the wingers involved. Very difficult. Here's a quick up and under kick. Swiss number nine. Recovered it quite well, looking for support. Time to establish the game. Bang, off the goes. Kick well in the back. Oh, number 15 letting that one slide. But there's no Swiss in sight, giving plenty of time for the Ukraine to really set themselves up and at least try to set up their back line. Kick out of touch, Swiss ball on the touch on the far. That'll give the players a bit of relief to breathe. The physio coming on already for the first check, although. We 
You have a mall here moving forward. Swiss mall. Get the ball out. Referee calls, use it. Uh, referee clearly. Instructing the faulty player. Switzerland probably opting for touch. Getting touched down at the five. So we have a throw in at the five for Switzerland facing in the Ukraine 22, a good attacking position for the Swiss national team. Referee giving the physio some time to take care of his player. Time is back on. Swiss line out. Bit of a sloppy play. And Switzerland losing it on a knock on. Ukraine deep in their 22, trying to run forward and get it, place themselves so for a good kick. Here's the kick. Well executed. They'll come back to the knock on mistake, previous knock on mistake. So Ukraine will get, will get the put in at the next scrum. Stadium packed to the limits today here in Zurich. Good crowd here for this important game. Swiss players deserving every attend, every support they can get. A good push through from Ukraine, giving his kicker a little bit more room to clear the lines. Putting Switzerland, quick take. Number 10 looking for the winger on the line. That was a near miss, almost had it. Ball, ball contested on the ground. So his player blocking a little bit. Referee telling him to play the ball. Referee giving the advantage, keeping the ball alive. Swiss need to make sure they get back on the back foot. Ukraine looking for that left side. They have some very athletic players. Good tackle from Switzerland. Swiss number five again making that big tackle. Ahmed Kane. Do we have a try? Oh, this is awfully close. Awfully close. That was centimeters we're talking. Good play. And a line out for the Ukrainians. Unlucky for the Swiss attacker. Again, we're coming back to that big tackle done on the far right. Those were the type of tackles that were done also in Iverdon against Croatia, very key to this Swiss defense. Ukraine under pressure on their own line out here, deep, ball lost. Swiss ball in a very good attacking position. Looking for the quick go, Oh, almost a gap there. Switzerland trying to play the ball quickly to their captain. Forward pass. Unfortunately, that was close. 
Nice try from Switzerland. Come back to a scrum for the Ukrainians. So far, we've had a very good performance from the Swiss forwards. Referee giving time off for a water break for the injured player on the ground to be treated. Good, good opportunity for the players to drink water. It's fairly warm today out here in Zurich. <laughs> 24 degrees on the thermometer here in Utegrund. A nice spring day. Referee trying to get both teams back in the game, keeping the break short. Ukrainians scrumming deep in their own territory. Very important for them to get the ball in quickly and out. Cleared out of their zone. Switzerland giving them, giving up the penalty on that play. That will give Ukraine a, a great opportunity to clear their 22. Good kick to about the 10 meter mark. It's still 5-0 for Switzerland at the moment in this game. The game settled down a little bit. Switzerland gaining a free ball on that line out, attacking immediately on the left side of the field, looking for that gap, sending the winger. We have a high tackle signal by the referee and an advantage being played. Number five, again, pushing his way forward. Almost through there. The Prop forward, making a huge gain. Try given. It's definitely a forward try. Wonderful play. Two big breaks by the forwards. Switzerland now leads 10 to zero versus Ukraine. Wonderful try. And the conversion is given. We are, it's now 12-0 for Switzerland. That conversion being a lot easier than the first one. Switzerland receiving the ball in their own 22, having to work, work to get it out. 
under a lot of pressure from this Ukrainian attack. They find touch at the 10 minute mark line. Oh, counter line out there. Well, won by the Swiss team. But we do have a knock on on the next play, which will give Ukraine the scrum. Number four being subbed for number 20. Number 20 coming on early in the game. Doesn't sound very good for number four. Time is back on in this game. Switzerland in a comfortable lead at the moment. Ukraine launching an attack here on the right side. They're quite effective with their backs if they have the right platform in the space. If you're just joining us here in Zurich, this is live coverage of the game Switzerland versus Ukraine here. European Championship Trophy, the final game for Switzerland against Ukraine. Switzerland leading at the moment 19 to zero. And early in this first half, we're about 21 minutes in the first half. So lots of time to go. Ukraine trying to establish their game and build the right platform. Another penalty given up by the Ukraine team for not releasing. What a break and stopping the time. After 20 minutes, that was agreed by the teams in the beginning before the game kicked off for a water break in this warm temperature that they could uh, hydrate uh -huh. after 20 minutes. Das 
Great opportunity now for you who are thirsty to go and get that beer that you've been looking at for the last five minutes in this exciting game. There's beer stands located conveniently on both sides of the stands. Unfortunately, not for us here in the commentator's booth, but that's, that's the way life is. On the pitch, the water break is now finished and players will Switzerland will be having a line out on the five meter in a good attacking position. Let's see what gets on out of this time on. Excellent line out taken by the Swiss forwards. Rolling Mall to the try line. Are they over? Try given. It's a try. Confirmed by the referee on the mic. Beautiful executed line out. Rolling Mall. Try scored. Switzerland now leads 24 to 0 here in Zurich. The conversion was good and the game has started again. We're having a few technical problems here at the live stream desk. We're working on making sure that it's live for you all at home. The scrum here for the Ukrainians deep in Swiss territory. Ukrainians still looking for the first points today. Trying desperately to get their backs running into the try area. Always looking for that far side. It's difficult building a strong, strong platform. have a uh, penalty given for offside on the ruck. Switzerland clearing their lines, again heading for touch. On the 10 meter inside Ukrainian territory.
Switzerland with ball. Number five moving forward. Looking for support. I must say, not very many mistakes in this game from both sides. No, no major penalties given. Nice gaps. Look for the backs. Oh, that's definitely going to be a try in the far right corner of the pitch. Wonderfully executed from the backs here. Well done, that's a beautiful score, big score. Switzerland moving up the scoreboard. A game of celebration today, that's for sure. Ukraine well outnumbered in that play. Conversion given, we are now 33, 33-0. About 10 minutes left in this uh, first half here in, in Zurich. Okay, Switzerland going for another rush here on the side. Wow. It's one-way traffic right now in this game. Here go the backs. The winger will be brought into play. The fullback is already there. The winger with the ball, and he's in for the score. There you go, another... Large score, well executed try from the winger. Tough day for the Ukrainians at this moment in the game. Switzerland being so far ahead. Running up the score with the backs. Conversion given. Switzerland now leading 40 to zero in this first half. I think that's a pretty clear statement to the directors of Rugby Europe, telling them to be ready for us next year in the next trophy. Again, Switzerland counter-attacking on the outsides, looking for that space. Big tackle played, ball still in play. Ukraine desperately defending, having a hard time. Turnover ball from the Swiss 
U Ukraine getting ball possession at the moment through Swiss mistakes. Lots to see here in Nuttergrund. Definitely a very, very competitive match for the spectators who came from far and away to watch this very important game for Swiss rugby. Switzerland on its way to finishing a great European Championship campaign. Currently with four wins and no losses in this championship, but today the opportunity to put a fifth win on the scoreboard. At the moment, Ukraine is not a big match for the Swiss. Ukraine, Ukraine working hard to keep the ball at hand. Not moving very forward through over the game line. Looking for the gaps on the outside. Very fair game, very fair contest. Good run through the middle there. Took a few players to get this, get him down on the tackle. on the high tackles uh, well taken into contact from number two and lost again Switzerland moving forward And the next offensive, Captain Cyrilin looking for the gap. And we're back to a knock on scrum down for the Ukrainians. About four minutes left in this first half. I think the players will be happy to have a break considering how warm it is out there. Wonderful turnout here for this uh, Swiss Rugby Day, this last Swiss Rugby Day of 2024 for Switzerland. Ukraine still looking for any opportunity to move forward on this pitch. It's difficult versus the Swiss team. They don't put the Swiss team under pressure. They're not going to be able to get too many points unless the Swiss give them the ball on such a mistake. Give a knock on such a knock on deep in Swiss territory.
Six Blue being penalized for playing the ball with his hands inside the scrum. Switzerland getting an opportunity before halftime to clear their lines and go into the halftime score of 40 to zero. Ball kicked out. Linesman marking touch at about the 10 meters. Probably the last play of the half, I would say, considering there's about a half a minute. We'll see another throw in, and we'll have our halftime score, most likely. Good line out taken by Switzerland. Ball immediately out to the backs, and they are off. Knock on on the ground. We have a player needing new boots. Big scrum from the Swiss. Ukraine still managed to keep the ball. Oh, good rush through from number 12. Referee telling clearly players leave their hands out of the rock, it was called. Proactive refereeing, we call that. Referee telling them clearly what needs to be done for the game to continue. Oh, penalty against Switzerland from the side. Offside at the ruck. An opportunity for Ukraine to put some points on the board before this half time. That'll be a big boost to their confidence. Ukraine opting to take the scrum. And they have basically nothing to lose. Looking for their first try of today's game. Referee calling another advantage. Hey. Ukraine working very hard for this point. for the outside. The fence is very, very <laughs> properly in the line. Penalty awarded to Switzerland. Player isolated himself far on the right. Switzerland kicking out a touch. It's halftime finally here. At Zurich Utergrund, Switzerland leading 40 to 0. We will take a short break and we'll be back to you with commentary and information in the second half in about 12 minutes. Until then, speak soon.
Uh, welcome back here to Zurich for the second half of this uh, Rugby Europe Trophy game, season 23-24. The last game for Switzerland in this championship. So far, Switzerland, four wins, no losses. Ukraine struggling to keep in the championship. Unfortunately for them, they have political issues and no home field advantage. Very difficult season for them. It's amazing that they're here today participating in this game. Putting on a brave effort against this Swiss team who's been dominating this championship so far for the last two seasons. We're just waiting for the referees to get back on the pitch. The players, they're already standing ready to go. Wanting this game to finish so that they can conclude their season. And enjoy the upcoming summer break. A lot of these players playing in foreign championships. On the Swiss side, most notably in France. French championship currently underway. For the Swiss players, Swiss bass players on the team, this weekend is a break for them. All other players here to support their national colors, of course, here in Zurich today. Referees back on the pitch, ready to go. Everybody had a, a nice breather. All right, we'll switch on the mics for the refs as well at this time, so we get to also hear and participate in their conversation. Off we go, second half underway here. Switzerland leading 40 to zero at halftime against Ukraine. 40 minutes to go in this wonderful game here in Zurich. Letting the backs go for the outside, looking for the gap and it's already underway here in the second half. Over halfway, big run from the winger on the outside. Switzerland not controlling the ball on the ground and losing it. under from number 10 or the Swiss number nine sorry not successful ball heading into touch directly unfortunately for the Ukrainians not getting any field position on that play Swiss bench warming up in the end goal Kicking the ball back to the Swiss. Not getting many opportunities to play in Swiss territory. Yeah, dangerous pass over the heads. Looking for the impact player on the far. Number Swiss number five making the hard ground here. Switzerland looking to get their backs moving. When 
you're leading on the scoreboard with such a high score, it's a great opportunity to really run those plays that you've been practicing for years. Center's working hard here. Scrum cap off. Number 10 looking for the gap, finding it as well, and the support is there. It's a two on one. Wonderful play from the Swiss team. Scoring, number 14 scoring under the posts. Wow. Textbook rugby. You saw the, ba the play build. Switzerland looking to use their backs. Wonderful play. Number 10 earning those points with his play in the midfield. Looking for the gap. He gets to put two more on the scoreboard. Two points for Switzerland. We're now at 47 to 0. 47 0. Wow, who would have thought of that today, this morning, that Switzerland would walk away with this one? A little bit of feedback on the ref mic. Slight breeze now this afternoon coming off the Italy Berg. Ukraine in the 22, Swiss 22. Ukraine working hard for these points. They're about five meters out. It's a good opportunity for them to put themselves on the scoreboard. It would certainly would boost their morale. Looking for the breakthrough in the middle. Well defended. Referee telling them clearly the defense to stay out of the rucks. This will be a good test for the Swiss defense. Swiss defense working hard. Turnover ball. Ukraine not releasing on the ground. What a shame. They were in a very good field position to put themselves on the scoreboard. To give the ball away, they must be frustrated about that. You can see it on the player, he's not happy. Switzerland had an opportunity to clear for the touch. Done so outside of the 22 for the next line out. Switzerland swapping out a prop. Number three coming out for number 23. Louis Alexandre Chavanon starting his day on the pitch. Ukraine swapping two players out as well. Number 17 and number 18 coming on. Two forwards being replaced. Uh, probably, probably wasn't straight, yes. 
confirmed by the referee. Ukraine opting for the scrum. game has less settled down a little bit in the second half. It's not been much of a contest for the Swiss so far. Swiss ball and a knock on. The change here from the Swiss team swapping number six out for number 19 coming on for his start of the day, Jonathan Dalle. Replacing uh, Thomas Cunha. Switzerland in a comfortable position. 47 points on the scoreboard to do some coaching. Winger calling for the ball, getting through the break tackle, and he's going for the posts. What a play. Here we go, five more for Switzerland. We're now at 52. Wow, that's a big score. It's a Ukraine not letting down, but just not able to match this Swiss attack. We all thought that today's game would have been won in the forwards. But it certainly has been very well balanced and the backs contributing with wonderful tries. 54 at the moment. 54-0 is the score with about 25 minutes, 27, 28 minutes to go in this game. Ukraine trying to get points in this game. Playing. Trying with the forwards, it's a difficult task. Especially when the ball is lost. For center kicking for touch. Good play from the Zurich player, actually a local boy. Number 13 playing for the local club. 
Grasshopper Club. There's a certain number of talent here in the Swiss Rugby League. The level has certainly increased in the last three to five years. We've seen uh, a major improvement in the level of rugby being played in Switzerland in the top division. And they certainly have a role to contribute to this team. Even though majority of the key players on this side are playing French in the French Championship. Switzerland having the luxury of strong neighbors playing rugby. Great, well executed line out from the Ukrainians. Trying to look for that gap in the middle. Swiss defense right there and ready. The backs having the luxury to not being under pressure. Another major run from one of the backs looking for support and he's through for the try. This is becoming quite the game on the scoreboard. Fifty-nine zero. Conversion is good. We're now at 61-0. We're in the 14th minute. If that's not a statement to Rugby Europe, then I don't know what Rugby Europe wants. Switzerland is ready for the next level. We have a change in the front row. Another local boy gets this, his start on the Swiss team. From the local club grasshoppers, Samuel Schoberg, who had his first cap against Croatia three weeks ago. Is now on the field. Switzerland always finding those runners on the outside. Ukrainians trying to get into the 22, working there. Working the ball on the outside, looking for the gap. Swiss defense always ready. Switzerland always finding the gap on the far end of the field. Their backs have been very busy today. U U Ukraine defense pulling up. Making, giving these opportunities. Good contest at the ruck.
Blue not releasing on the tackle, giving a penalty for Switzerland. Seventeen minutes into the second half. Switzerland opting for touch for better field position. Switzerland advancing towards the try line again. Forwards putting the platform in place. Backs recovering. Huge numbers on the left. Gotta stop it to play. Knock forward. <laughs> Switzerland bringing on the next sub, number 16. And number 22. Another Zurich player. There's four on the match sheet today. Ball kicked into touch into the tram line. They won't be bringing that one very quickly back. We're at the 20 mi 20th minute of the game. Water break given, I assume is time off uh, from the referee. few more substitutions probably coming up shortly. But this is the type of game where the teams have the opportunity to play their entire bench. Game is underway again. 
Time on. Ball into touch. Almost at the halfway line. Lost. Switzerland losing the ball to the Ukraine. Ukraine using the backs, looking for that gap in the middle. Ball out quickly. Numbers on the left side. He opts to take it into the field of play again. There wasn't much space left outside. Good sequence of play from the Blues. Bit sloppy, loses them the ball, passing the ball back to the Swiss team. Switzerland with their using all options today. Here we go again, looking for the gap. Very close to the touchline. New players getting their hands on the ball finally. Sloppy play. Brings Switzerland much further back. Number 20 able to clean up the mess. Kick. Good solid kick for the far right. Ukraine responding. A direct kick into touch at the 10 meter. Referee signaling that he was, ball was carried into the 22. Good sequence here from from the Swiss team. You could hear it from the spectators, that ball nearly went missing. It was a big hit. Switzerland still in possession, looking for the score in the middle. Oof, another big hit. Ball lost. Ukraine getting the put in at the next scrum. Time off, I think, yeah. We're an injured player down.
as we have a small break in the action. Players being treated, water boys, players getting water. It's a hot afternoon here in Zurich. Stadium packed full with supporters from all of Switzerland and Ukraine. There's a large population of Ukraine refugees here in Zurich. I'm sure they're here cheering on their team. Referee calling the game back to play. Time is on again. Injured player being helped off the pitch. Scrum down. And we'll take this opportunity at this point in the game. Ref referee has an issue. Uh, time off again. Wow. We have the situation now that the Ukraine does not have any replacement front row players and it will, game will go to uncontested scrums. So Ukraine will have to play 14 against 15. You can hear the discussion with the referee and the match commissioner. Ukraine have to go down to 14 in the competition. If you don't have any front row subs anymore uh, to replace an injured player, the rules then, are the, are the World Rugby rules clearly state a player must come off. That's unfortunate for them, but it's also due to safety, safety of the players still on the pitch. Interesting situation here at this level, but it happens also at Six Nations, so it's nothing new. The rule is clear. Referee needing to explain this with the captains and with the match commissioner. Match commissioner taking care of all the paperwork and making sure that everything's in line with the rules and regulations. In the meantime, we'll take this opportunity to thank all the organizers for such a wonderful day here in Zurich. It's been a, a great festival today of rugby. It's not over. There's a live band playing after the end of this game. It's on 9 p.m. Good crowd here in Zurich. Until the situation is cleared, it's going to be uncontested scrum going forward here. sheet there's exactly one two three five players who can play in the front row so we have here in the 25th minute time is on no pushing no stealing as you hear from the referee it's an uncontested scrums so whoever has the scrum will win the ball. Unheard of, but that's the rules. Personally, that's good for the Ukrainian, Ukraine team. They can definitely profit from their scrums.
but the price is they lose a player on the field and they're now 14 players versus 15 Swiss. Game continuing at 14 against 15. Ukraine in ball possession, going from right to left. Mark called by number 15. Switzerland trying to look for the opportunity. Tackle made. Number nine keeping the ball flowing. And number three, number three interfering. Gets penalized by the Spanish ref. Switzerland clearing the ball into the Ukrainian half for a line out. That wasn't exactly executed with properly by the Swiss, giving the ball to the Ukrainians, giving them an opportunity to clear. Still working hard up the middle to try and get the platform for their backs. Putting Switzerland deep, deep in territory. Swiss number 22 finding support in the middle, but then player returning the ball. Oh. Switzerland stealing the ball in the mall there. Ball coming out quickly. Oh, uh, with a knock on. Coming back for the scrum. About 10 minutes left in this game here in Zurich. 10 minutes to go for Switzerland's perfect season. Switzerland looking to use the gaps in the outside. Ball out. A little scuffle here and there. Players are getting, players have been super, di super disciplined in this game. There has been no foul play. Absolutely wonderful spectacle, wonderful sportsmanship from all these players. I'm sure it's, for the Swiss it's an easy, run in the park today but no opponent is ever that easy number 22 recovering from an error and assessing the ball big tackle Referee calling them all. Falls back out. Oh, and we have a knock on in the middle of the field. 
Captain himself frustrated with that. He had a great opportunity to make a run through. Ukraine running, still competing in this game. They can certainly leave this field head high later in 10 minutes when the game is over. They've certainly tried their best to counter this Swiss team. They knew from the beginning that it would be very difficult, Switzerland leading this group with four wins. And Ukraine having to have play in Sweden the two weeks, three weeks ago. Always difficult considering all their home games are away games. Would have been a nice play. Still going. Space is there. Good coverage from the Ukrainians. Swiss forwards progressing and stabilizing this in the middle. Ball's out again, looking, Switzerland looking to change sides. Use the numbers. Ball went forward, yep. As the referee saw, we saw it as well. Close, would have been a good run. We're in the last six minutes of this game. Scrum in front of the stands, the VIP stands. Ukraine ball, Ukraine run going from looking for the middle. Knock on Swiss advantage in the far left. Switzerland looking to capitalize. We'll come back to the scrum. Uncontested scrum, remember? Ukraine with a player down in the forwards. So it'll, it will be a Swiss ball regardless. Ukraine playing with a man less due to the scrum rule, uncontested scrum rule. Having to bring it back in at number eight. With 
Hoffman looking for the gap. Oh, too bad that ball didn't go to all the way out. That would have been a sure try. Players frustrated, of course. <laughs> Referee confirming five minutes to go. First half went a little bit over, so I assume he's going to be more punctual in the second. His day has been perfect so far. There's nothing to talk about as far as the refereeing is concerned. And in rugby, everyone respects the referee and the referee's decisions. And they've been impeccable today. <laughs> Going to be a big party here tonight in Zurich with the Swiss team getting the grand slam of this European trophy by winning against Ukraine. It's pretty clear now with the scoreboard that Ukraine will not win this game. And Switzerland will be in first position in this division ahead of Sweden and will certainly qualify for the next uh, level of the trophy. A milestone in Swiss rugby, Swiss rugby never at achieving this level of competition before in its history, since 1972. Should Switzerland be promoted to the next group, we will have big rugby countries coming here to play, Georgia, Portugal, Romania, all qualified, Spain, who have all qualified at some point in time for the World Cup. The World Cup numbers being extended to 24. We'll have a few more spots for the European countries to... As we see another superb rush for the try line from the backs, Swiss back scoring another try bringing the score to 66-0 here in Zurich with two minutes to go in this game. The conversion kick and the restart will likely be the last place today before the party at the end of the field begins. A wonderful day organized by Swiss Rugby Organize, organizing, organized by the three local clubs, Rugby Union Zurich, Grasshopper Club Zurich, and the Zurich Rugby Academy. Referee confirming, there's two minutes to go. As soon as this game is over, we shall join the local interviewers. The trophy conversion is good. We're now at 68 to zero here in Zurich. One minute, we're in the last minute of play. There's probably enough time for a kickoff. And this game will be history. The trophy is already ready down on the field to give to the team. This is history, folks. This is the last minute of a historical performance. We're seeing rugby history being made here in Switzerland, in tiny Switzerland, with a last rush towards the try line. Well recovered by the backs. Are they going to put another point on the board before the final whistle? Certainly looks like it. The effort is there. Oh. Small mistake, giving the advantage to the Ukrainians to finish this game. We are now in extra time. Referee's looking at his watch. This will be the last play of the game, confirmed by himself. Referee, this will be the last scrum. Players on the sideline already ready to cheer and run. The 
The last scrum, uncontested. It'll be Ukrainian ball. So as soon as the Ukrainians make a mistake, score or lose the ball, that will be the game. Oh, ball gone through the dead zone and that's it folks. That's it, you've now seen it, this is it. This is the end of the game here in Zurich. Switzerland winning 68 to zero against Ukraine. We say goodbye to you here from the live stream table and we will pass the microphone down to the players, politicians and uh, dignitaries here. We wish you a great continuation. Thank you to the organizers and have a great evening and a safe trip home. We say goodbye to you now from the live stream table, wishing you a pleasant evening. It's free for all.